This year's Venice Film Festival is receiving acclaim for the diversity of its selection. A documentary by Chinese artist and filmmaker Ai Weiwei on the global refugee crisis is one of the main centers of attention. Being a refugee is much more than a political status. It is the most pervasive kind of cruelty that can be exercised against a human being. You are forcibly robbing this human being of all aspects that would make human life not just tolerable but meaningful in many ways. Ai Weiwei's socially conscious documentaries usually divide critics with their subject matter. But this time the controversial artist is aiming to bring people together. Human Flow shows the tragic lives of refugees in search of a safe future after losing their homes. The Chinese documentarian says he felt a kinship with the emigres. For my personal curiosity, I know very little about this topic. I want, I always interested in the people who who doesn't have uh, enough help or being pushed away being seen as a foreigner or or dissident or you know someone is a misfortune or, or being mistreated you know this from my history living in a communist society and my father being horribly mistreated and you know, uh, as a dissident or as a, someone being exiled for a long time. So I, I have natural interests, or it's in my blood, to 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 find out what's really going on and uh, you know about this topic. If children grow up without any hope, without any prospects for the future, without any sense of them being able to make something out of their lives, then they will become very vulnerable to all sorts of exploitation, including radicalization. Ai Weiwei believes people have lost their ability to empathize with the suffering of refugees, despite living in the information age. The officials came here and told them, look, there's no way you're going to get papers to continue. Either you go voluntarily or we arrest you. I think the news uh, uh, streams and also everyday news uh, somehow it informs people, but somehow also um, make our sensitivity become a dull because you feel this is senseless, then you shut off because the, the crisis is getting too big, you cannot do anything about it. So that is the most dangerous moment because you cut off human as one. According to the United Nations, there are currently 65 million forcibly displaced people around the world. Critics say human flow will hopefully add strength in helping their voices be heard. It's going to be a big challenge to recognize that the world is shrinking and people from different religions, different cultures are going to have to learn to live with each other.